We've covered a lot of budget AMD motherboards, though we have to go with the big one, the Gigabyte B850 Eagle Wi-Fi 6E. One of the most bare bone AM5 boards available right now, and it can be all yours for just $190. So what do you get for that price? Well, starting off with CPU power, here we have 8 plus 2 plus 2 power phases, rated at a maximum of 60 amps. That is pretty much as basic as VRM configs get nowadays, especially seeing how you don't get 2 4 8 pins for CPU power, rather just a 4 plus 8 pin affair here. Though again, as in every single video, I really have to emphasize that you do not need to worry about it. This thing will run pretty much any CPU fine, even when X3D chip. In fact, Gigabyte themselves boast how this thing has a X3D one-click overclock mode anyway. Plus it even features a maximum memory overclock rating of 8200 mega transfers per second, actually slightly higher than some other budget boards. Then moving down to PC expansion, as you can imagine the main PC slot is a Gen 5 16 lane slot. And below that you get three additional physical 16 next slots but they're all just gen 3 one laners which again why not give us physical 1x slots given how they will look better with 1x cards am i the only person who cares about it Probably yes, because I can play about it in every single video, and no one seems to pay attention. Now when it comes to the storage situation, here you get 3 M.2 slots, about on par for this kind of price range. The one important thing to keep in mind is that while the main one is PC Gen 5, and the next one down is PC Gen 4, the last one is, well still Gen 4, only a 2 lane slot, meaning that you're getting half the bandwidth. So the motherboard really isn't generous with its PC lanes, though it does make sense given how it is BA50, and in fact because of the layout of the board and its lanes, you do have to worry about, you know, putting something in one slot and losing bandwidth to another, for example, in this particular model. And you also get four set of connectors for dessert. Then moving things around to the rear I.O., here we have eight USB Type-A ports, which should be enough for most people, however half of those are still Gen 2, and probably the most disappointing thing about a rear I.O. is the fact that the USB Type-C port is just 5 gigs, which even at this price is, well, I'm not angry, just disappointed. Actually, I'm both angry and disappointed a Gigabyte, but hey, your consolation prize is that you at least get PS2. Add that HDMI and the DisplayPort for integrated graphics, only 1 gigabit Ethernet, that's right, you don't even get 2.5 gig like every single other board this generation, Wi-Fi 6E rather than Wi-Fi 7, and also free audio jacks and no optical spdiff. Meaning that this is about as basic of an AM5 motherboard that you can get. And while that might sound like a good thing if you're on a budget, here's the kicker. It's still too expensive. Even compared to most other motherboards at its price point, it is stripped right the way down. Most other motherboards at this price have at least 10 gigabit USB, have at least 2.5 gig Ethernet. I can even have Wi-Fi 7. I would appreciate what Gigabyte were doing here if they're just making this no frills motherboard with just the bare essentials. However, the price has to match, and seeing how you can get so much more for the exact same price than I can't really see how this motherboard is worth it unless you get it on a crazy sale. So, I don't know, buy it, don't buy it, I don't care anymore. What I do care about is, if you do buy it, make sure to use the Amazon and UEG links, which will be up in the iCards and down in the video description below. Where you're also going to find a Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Polish Volker, Patrick Harrison, and a pseudonym, Mick Sumner, and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's all it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.